requests. Like making a daily habit, send out 30, 40 fan requests every day. What ended up happening is now all of a sudden you did a compounding where now you have a whole bunch of like-minded people that are actually into this type of stuff that are already looking for an opportunity. You just saw them asking for info. So then when you approach these people, they're going to think it's amazing because they was already looking at something and it wasn't this great. Wow, bro. That's powerful. That's powerful. Like-minded people. Bishop yeah. Mike strikes again. Yes, yeah. Lord. <laughs> I uh, uh, Mike, uh, permission to say something quick for the call. Hey, um, um, I already pressed record, so it's all good. I know it's <laughs> All right, guys, uh, just a quick tip. Um, this is something that a lot of places do wrong when they're marketing stuff. They knock people down. They would say, man, don't waste your money on Jordans. Then you can invest. But that's what I do. I say, bro, if you like Jordans, let me show you where you can make money to buy more Jordans. Plus, you have money in your pocket and make your money work for you. Absolutely. That's just Absolutely. a tip. Absolutely. I'm here for it all, bro, man. Appreciate it, man. I, I, I told Kenny, I'm, I'm picking everybody, man. He is all y'all that all y'all. So, and that's one of my marketing tools when I when I go into you know talking to somebody. It's like, bro, you getting a whole network of knowledge first and foremost. Like they ain't shy, they ain't gonna turn you down, they ain't gonna beat you down. They just man, this really feel like family. So I really appreciate. I don't talk a lot, bro. But I really appreciate y'all. Y'all really changed my life in like two weeks. Like just with the knowledge alone, I done made my ninety nine dollars back a couple times. You know what I mean? So that's this. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Um, it's, it's just the beginning as well. Um, just the beginning. That's a huge part of what we do. Is it's about the trade community. You know, on top of all of the services that we have, uh, I think the biggest sales point of it all is the trade community because your network is your net worth, and you're literally here talking to. How many people we have right now? 98 people who are going to become multimillionaires. Okay, so that's something to consider as a life, as, as time goes by in your life, all these people are gonna be successful master traders and we all are gonna have resources and we could do a lot outside of Gobi together outside in, in the world. Okay, so we're really building a strong trade community and everybody's uh, sharpening each other. All right, bouncing off ideas. And everybody brings a certain skill set that, that contributes to the overall growth of Gobi Trade House. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So those are great questions. I do want to uh, uh, I do want to answer your original question because people ask me all the time, you know, what do you do? And I like to generalize it. I always just say I'm an investor. OK, if you say that you're an investor, that covers pretty much everything, because the next question is, what do you invest in? We, we invest in Forex, gotcha. which is currency. We invest in cryptocurrency. We invest in metals, gold, oil, all right? And we also do stocks, which is indexes and things of that nature. So, and then from there, you can start introducing the services on how to simplify these investment platforms and how we actually benefit from it. So when they ask you, what is it? What do you do? We mainly lead with currency trading, but we also do metals, oil, you know, gold, you know, cryptocurrency, everything under the sun. And we're trying to master every aspect of investing on our platform. So that general statement, it kind of covers yeah. you all the way around. That's something everybody can yeah, So when Mike was I saying, say. when, 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 when Mike was saying like, learn your business first, I would, it, when he said that it was like, I didn't expect so many strangers to be looking at me like, okay, if he doing it, then it gotta be good. Cause that's all it's been, bro. Every person that done came to me, I done signed them up. And it's like, damn, I don't know because I didn't expect when I make a Facebook post that y'all were gonna come in my inbox. I'm just saying this works. Hey, it works. And and first question is, bro, you do Forex or bro, you in the pyramid scheme. So yeah. it's, it's all new to me and it's moving so fast. Cause I did not know once I made the post, thirty people a day are gonna be like, "Bro, what's happening?" You know what I mean, yeah, so it's crazy. Lean, lean on, lean Pre on referring to yourself as an investor. If someone says, uh, someone starts using that pyramid scheme talk, that just means they have a lack of knowledge of how the structure of business is. That's all it is. Everything has a structure of a pyramid uh, in business. Um, the good thing about this uh, particular business. Um, 
this particular business model is a uni level business. We're not in multi-level marketing. So we don't even have a pyramid structure over here either. <laughs> it's a uni level. So that's also out of that, even if they want to use that for uh, uh, a gesture, we're not even in that realm. We're not network marketing or MLM. Um, we are more so like a T-Mobile or a Sprint PCS. We are providing a service and people are paying monthly for the services we provide. And that service is financial education and services that's going to help you learn how to navigate the investment <laughs> world. So that's what we I do. know you, my partner, because I, I damn I dance, I say, why don't you pay for Netflix and Hulu? You pay for a service, man. We're just and Netflix without... for Forex, that's all. <laughs> we're just the Netflix of Forex. That's what we're trying to do. All right. So, all right. So, I, ahead, bro. All right, I appreciate your now. questions. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the call started. Um, some good, some good talk before the call. I think that's a, uh, uh, some good questions that was being asked, but everybody, good morning, good morning. Uh, Kenny J with Gobi Trade House. Hold on, let me get some of this noise out of here. Give me one quick second. Right there, bam. All right, cool. All right, everybody, good morning. This is Kenny J with Gobi Trade House. I'm gonna welcome everybody to Coffee in the Morning with Gobi. Uh, we do this call every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m., giving you motivation, inspiration, and strategy. All right, uh, shout out to everybody on the call right now this morning, having some great conversations this morning. Shout out to uh, the Gobi Trade House Foundation, our master analyzers, all of our leaders, people who are helping uh, build this amazing online trade community. All right, guys, uh, this is an exciting day. Uh, last night, we actually started the Run Up the Bag Challenge, okay? The fresh Run Up the Bag Challenge for starting off uh, 2021. And last night, we were able to throw out our first trade on the Run Up the Bag Challenge. If you were on the live session last night, and you actually made money on the first run up the bag challenge trade of the year. Let me see some dollar signs in the chat right now. Let me see some dollar signs in the chat right now. If you made money, absolutely. Look at those dollar signs. Yes, powerful, powerful. All right, guys, that's a lot of people. I, I, I really love seeing this activity every day in the group. Okay, we got 29 more to go, 29 more to go, guys. And I hope you guys are staying disciplined to this run up the back challenge because this whole game is about discipline. It's about patience. It's about controlling your greed. Okay, and this, this is how we're going to actually complete this challenge, 30 trades. Okay, so I'm making sure, and I hope you guys are making sure, because just like you last month, you know, I started I started the run up the bag challenge. I was making profits and then I was in and out of it with the trades. And then I realized at the end of it, like, man, I should have stuck with it as well. OK, I started trading XRP and doing stuff on my run up the bag challenge. I even broke my discipline last month. So it's not OK. So I know a lot of us did. But but the thing is, at the end of the month, the thing that I recognized was, wow, we could really do this as a group. We really have the trades and the traders to do 30 trades in a row. We went 27 out of 30 last month at a 90% accuracy on live sessions. I've never seen that before and I've been trading for four years. So this goes to show that we have something very special inside of Gobi Trade House and we could actually complete this challenge. So we got 29 more to go. I hope you guys are excited about it. I hope you guys have your accounts funded. I hope this is a separate compound account you cannot touch this account. Do not touch it. Please don't touch it. Use it just for the run up the bag challenge. Okay. And any other trades, use it for, you know, your, your, your auto bot. Oh, and speaking of the auto bot, um, if you actually made some profits on the auto bot as well, if you woke up to some profits or made some profits yesterday, drop some dollar signs in the chat. If the Gobi auto bot has fed you a little bit and uh, you kind of got your first, wow, six for six, Preston. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's a lot of people who made money on the auto bot. <laughs> I actually woke up to the, I woke up to about, I think about 40 pips on the auto bot. So I'm using very small lots and testing it. Golly, that's a lot of people. Wow. That is powerful. 12 for 15, five, 12 for 12, five still open. You know, one thing I'm noticing about the auto bot, the auto bot has, um, you could apply a little bit of strategy to the auto bot. OK, so over time, the Autobot, we will be um, we will be evolving different strategies with the Autobot. I've been picking some people's brain within the group. Some people are using the Autobot in certain types of ways, putting it on certain types of pairs. 
um, and you are using it with certain with certain lot sizes, okay, and having success on the bot. All right, there's some people who haven't even lost a trade yet on the bot, and I know people, most people have only had it for a couple of days, but to see these numbers, 12 for 12, 15 for one, seven to 10, I mean, this is ridiculous. All right, we have to spread this message about the Autobot, okay? Everybody inside of the group, remember we're a customer acquisition business. You do not have to uh, find recruiters to build this business. We could actually run advertisements on the Autobot, run advertisements for our live sessions and just get customers and build, your, build, your, build yourself up a nice residual income just on a pure customer base, just hooking people up to the Autobot. Okay, that's something to really think about. And, and I think that, you know, we're going to continue to evolve different advertisements because we just got this thing. Okay, but over time, the marketing material and the things that we add in the back office in regards to marketing some of our services, um, I think that we could actually uh, have a huge customer base. Everybody should have a nice size customer base just on people on the Autobot. Okay, all these people who just made money that you see in the chat, I'm pretty sure that there is a couple people in your warm market, in your circle, that you could show your, your, your screen to and say, I was sleeping and this thing made money for me on autopilot. And all I did was hook it up to my computer and it's gonna make money 24 seven, five days a week trading currency pairs, okay? Are you open to taking a look at it, okay? And if you actually introduce this to a few people in your warm market, um, I assure you they're gonna take a look at this autobot and wanna get a piece of it. OK, because there's a lot of different things out there in the industry and people are paying a lot of money for software like this and especially software that is accurate. And Adobe Trade House, I believe, has the most accurate uh, software. All right. A trading software for the price point. OK, I don't think you're going to find a better trading software for ninety nine dollars, especially with everything that we offer. So let's go ahead and get this message out here. OK, now. Uh, one thing I want to do oh, before I move on, also updates on the Autobot. I actually stayed up last night to 5.30 in the morning, and I pretty much got everybody, for the most part, approved for the Autobot, okay? Uh, so there's a few people left. If you are not approved for the Autobot, I think I only have about maybe 20, about 20 people left in that range. So just inbox me directly. I can knock you guys out after coffee with Gobi. Uh, I want to be fully caught up so I can just get the new people quickly. That's why I've been putting in so many hours so I could just get, get completely caught up on the Autobot because, you know, naturally, that's a lot of people coming in in the first couple of days. So now we're pretty much caught up for the most part. So I think we got about 20, 25 people left. So just inbox me directly after the call, your ID number, your email address, and I'll quickly hook you guys up within like the next hour or so. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and move on. All right. Also, I want to go ahead and do a quick trade review before I pass it to Carlos Pond. I know Carlos Pond is, um, he has some stuff he has to do. I want to give him a chance to drop some nuggets. But you guys, let me know if you can see my trade screen. No. Can't see anything right now. Kenny, when we're approved, we'll get, we get an email. Yes, from you. Sir, you get an email and I'll actually if you inbox me after the call if you inbox me after the call I'll actually uh send you a message when I'm done with it so you'll know okay all right let me try again can you guys see my trade screen all right now Still now you can see it. it all right all right I can see it we can see it now all right perfect so uh, this was our trade last night. I believe this was our trade last night. Australian Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. That was our run up the bag challenge trade, correct? Double check just to make sure. Yeah, yeah that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. All okay. right. So this was our trade from last night that we marked up. And as you can see, it did exactly what we expected. Okay. We entered the market. Right around price. Hold on, let me go ahead and do a quick mute. Bam. One quick second, guys. A little noise in the back. All right. So we came, we came in the market right around 0 0.98312. 
where price closed right above this blue moving average line. Now, this was an amazing call, all right? Uh, reason being is because, again, this is exactly kind of what the Autobot does as well. Whenever these hour candles, or this is a 15 minute candle. Let me go to the hour chart. Okay, yeah, this was our trade. Price is 0 0.98317. And it took off and busted through our, our uh, 10 pip take profit. But these blue moving, this, these moving average lines right here, guys, are super, super important, all right? And when our trade, this particular trade, we got a hour candlestick to close above this blue moving average line, that's a huge indication that this is gonna continue to move up in an uptrend and move to this next resistance line here and possibly create a higher high, all right? Also, we had our trend. So that was another confirmation. We had a buy signal, all right? So we said last night that more than likely, this was a possibility, but it was a least likely possibility, all right? So what you wanna do for all the new people when you're trading Forex, keep in mind that when you trade Forex, okay, it's 50-50. All you could do is buy or sell, all right? You could actually close your eyes and press buy or sell, and you have a 50% chance of winning, all right? However, what we want to do is increase the percentages by our indications and our confirmations. The way I look at our confirmations is simple. When I see a trend, for me, that increases my 50% to 10% now. So now I'm about 60% confident in the trade. I got a buy signal. Now I got about 5% I'm adding to that. Now I'm about 65% confident in the trade, right? I got an hour candlestick to close above the blue moving average line. Okay, that's another confirmation, all right? Now I'm 10% more confident. Now I'm 75% more confident in the trade, all right? So now, now in my eyes, I have a 75% a conversion in my mind that I can win this trade because of my indicators. Okay. Now, when I check the history, now I'm looking at the history and I'm saying, okay, well, based on the history, it's come back, it's retested this marks multiple times. Uh, I don't think it's going to come back and hit this stop loss range. Break history, break our moving averages lines, do a, a complete reversal, right? To hit a 35 pit stop loss. I want to give myself a small cushion, 10 pip goal, and a nice, a, a small uh, pip goal, excuse me, and a big cushion. All right. I'm going to get my 10 pips before it does all of that and, and hits our SL at 35 pips. Right. So now that's another indicator for me. So now I look for my sniper entry. And that's another indication for me. Now I feel like, you know what, I'm about 90% confident this trade is going to do exactly what it did. Come in, shoot up, long bullish candle, hit our 10 pips, very simple, all right? This happened in a matter of time, it happened very quickly. I remember last night, uh, whenever we first entered the trade, <laughs> I think there was a couple people panicking in the chat, right? Because the trade pulled back like four pips. <laughs> and I told you guys, right? You gotta be patient. Because 95% of trades are going to pull back. It just pulled back about four or five pips. And then it, 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 then it went, on its, it went on its trend. It completed. Okay. Patience equals profits. The reason why we have a stop loss, 35 pips, is to protect us of a, of a, of a retracement. And a retracement is highly possible. But what we want to do is get the best sniper possible. This was a sniper entry. It pulled back about five pips and then it took off and it never came back and it's still in profit, all right? Actually, if you would stay in this trade, it went all the way up to about 20 pips. And I think that is gonna continue to go up. So you guys just be patient whenever you see a pullback, okay? I want everybody to get used to seeing the color red. Get used to seeing the color red because you're actually going to see red more than blue when you trade. When you get into a trade, there's a price to get into that trade called a spread. Okay, so you instantly come again in the negatives. Okay, also, there's a 95% chance you're going to pull back a little bit, especially if you don't have the perfect sniper. 
but that's why you give yourself a cushion. So if it does pull back five pips, you have a 30 pip cushion, so you're okay. So just be patient, guys, when you get into a trade and just let, the, let it continue to go on this trend and we'll continue to win trades at high accuracy inside of Gobi Trade House. So shout out to the mass analyzers. Great job uh, for you know doing this trade, us working together. All right, and, and double back testing it and making sure that we are, are sending out the best trades possible. All right, not forcing anything and making sure that we get in these trades so we can complete this. Okay. Now, before I pass it to Carlos, also, if this is your first time um, attending a Coffee with Gobi call or you're just now joining Gobi Trade House, uh, can I get a 111 in the chat? Let me get a one, one, one in the chat, guys. If this is this is your first time on a copy with Gobi Call, or you're just now joining Gobi Trade House. Let me get a one, one, one in the chat. We'd like to recognize you guys. All right. So we have a couple new people. We have Daniel, Danielle. We have Sasha. We have Crystal. All right. All right. Anybody, any other new people in the chat? Any, okay, perfect guys. Well, we definitely wanna welcome our new members. Okay, uh, everybody in Gobi Trade House, I mean, you know how we do. If you wanna unmute yourself, put welcome in the chat. Uh, let everybody welcome to our trade community. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone. Welcome. 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 First step towards your welcome. financial welcome. freedom. Big old Texas welcome. Absolutely, Mary. Absolutely. Welcome to our welcome to our family. Okay, we're super excited to have you. We try to create an environment where you're celebrated, not just tolerated. We know life is hard. So when you're out there in the world, uh, you know, sometimes you can get beat down by the world. It could be pretty negative. So you need a place where people are gonna uplift you. You need a place where people's gonna believe in you and push you. And I think that for a lot of people who's been inside Gobi Trade House, even myself. OK, as myself, Gobi Trade House has been a savior for me. OK, and going through this personal life and going through things, getting on these coffee with Gobi calls, networking inside Gobi Trade House. I'm telling you guys, it's the place to be. Ninety percent of your success or failures is going to come from the environment that you place yourself in. So this environment, we're going to try to keep a positive environment. So no matter what happens in the world, whenever you're in, in this trade community, OK, you're going to feel uplifted inside of this trade community. We're going to help push you to accomplish your goals towards financial freedom. All right. So welcome to the family. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass it to our brother, Carlos Pond, if he's still on. Uh, Carlos, are you on? I'm on. I'm on. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Can you? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everybody that went ahead and got involved with uh, Gobi Trade House. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know or doesn't understand what Gobi stands for, it stands for the Generation of Bosses Empire. See, uh, I'm pretty sure that all of us come from the job world. You know, whenever I started getting into entrepreneurship, I understood that job uh, in the acronym actually stands for just over broke. OK, uh, and there's nothing wrong with having a job. There's nothing wrong with having, uh, you know, income. You know, there's everything wrong in not finding or uh, another source that's going to actually, you know, replace the income, you know. So whatever you do through your first eight hours in a day, that's your job. Whatever you do, you know, your next following two to three, six hours after your job. Now that's working on your fortune. That's working on your dream. OK, so for people that are new, you need to understand the power of Coffee with Gobi. A lot of us never understood exactly what Coffee or Gobi was gonna was gonna implement, you know, to people's lives. But what it what's it, what's ended up happening is that Coffee with Gobi is changing people's paradigm, people's mindset, because it's exactly what what Kenny said. We deal with all this toxicity outside in the real world. People trying to steal your dreams. People saying that you can't make it. People that say that you know you're not capable of changing your life. That you're just average. You know, but over here, we're letting you know that that's not the case. Over here, we're letting you know that if you just surround yourself with the right environment, the right people, that you are due to, uh, you know, uh, to receive abundance, you know, just for getting involved with the circle. 
So there's been a lot of people that have contacted me and they've said, man, I've, I've been in tears in Coffee of Gobi. And you're not the only one. You know, a lot of people may not know, but August 6th, I lost my grandpa and I lost him uh, right before, it wasn't a Coffee of Gobi, it was actually right before a power hour, you know? And right after the power hour, what we would do during that time, it was, we would initially have, um, after power hour, I would have a powwow with the people that were on power hour. And um, in, in, in the same essence, it felt like a Coffee of Gobi, but that was a very emotional time for me as well, losing my grandfather and uh, who was at one point in time more my dad, he raised me in Colombia. He raised me, made me the, the, you know, at least, you know, helped me stride, you know, my first eight years in life before I made it to America. You know, so first I need you to, to remember uh, where you came from, you know, where you came from and where you're headed. I, ne I need you to understand that what we're doing is that you, you're, you're embarking on a new journey of life that now is making you an investor. There's only two things that you can leverage in this world, and that's your money and people. That's it. That's the only things you can leverage. Your time is not leverageable unless you duplicate yourself. Okay. So where you're currently at is not where you're where you're where, is not where you're gonna end up. Because where you're gonna end up, you're gonna end up in fortunes. You're gonna end up in uh, in abundance, in blessings. You're gonna end up with more money in your bank account one year from today than you are here right now. So if you are if you are or have went to through turbulence, you know, some sort of up and downs is no different than the charts. You have to remember a chart is going up, chart is going down, but eventually, you know, you just got to follow the trend, right? That's the same thing with life. In life, all we're doing is that we're finding trend identifications in life and going with the flow. So if you're hanging around with a trend that's negative, you know, then you're going to end up with negative results. If you end up going to a trend that's positive in life, you're going to end up with positive results. OK, so one thing that I want to remind you is that it doesn't matter where you're at right now. You're not going to stay there. OK, I know a lot of us at one point in time we were broke at one point in time our lights went off at one point in time. Maybe we were, you know, borrowing, you know, from from uh, David to pay, you know, Jeff, <laughs> you know, we've been there. OK, we've been there, but you're not going to stay there for long. OK. So that's the point of this. That's the point of what we do in Coffee Gobi. We strategize, you know, we motivate, you know, and we get our day going with an umph, okay? Even if you got up in the wrong side of the bed, you know, there's a high probability that you're going to end up walking in the right side of the bed by be, by getting involved with Coffee Gobi, you know? So what started to end up happening is that we have more people attending Coffee Gobi than our live sessions. However, it's very important to attend the live sessions. All right, because you need to get involved with the investment mentality, learning how to get your money to work for you. You know, that's the number one key to becoming financially wealthy is to actually learn how to manipulate your money to where it starts generating you more money. And that's exactly what we're here to do. But one thing that I wanted to go ahead and talk about as well was understanding that we're all one community. We're either Gobi Trade House or the women of Gobi, okay? And I want everybody to understand that while you're out there branding is that, yeah, you're branding yourself, okay? You're branding yourself, but you're doing it with Gobi Trade House because we're one company, we're one community. So we don't have, yesterday we had a conversation with a lot of our top leaders and we've, you know, we, we went ahead and struck the gavel knowing that we are not Gobi Global, we are not Gobi Green Team, we are not Gobi Pip Stars, we are Gobi Trade House, okay? So we want everybody to not get confused because see what, what happens with confusion is that confusion is of the enemy. When a person is confused, the person doesn't do anything. A confused person actually runs around with their, their head cut off like a chicken, a chicken with their head cut off. We don't want you to be confused, okay? We need you to understand that we're one community. Go be trade house is the empire that will go ahead and build your foundations and foundations and, and will break the shackles of poverty in your household, okay? So I want you to understand what's really taking place. And I also want you to understand that there's a bigger play in the background when it comes to everything that we're doing. I don't know your belief system. I don't know your religious beliefs, you know, but I know that, that there's something bigger at play, especially when it comes down to what it is that we're doing, you know? So I don't like to step in people's toes when it comes to maybe you're, you're Buddhist, maybe you're Christian, maybe you're, you know, you're a nation of Islam. None of that matters. All that matters is that we're working together with the same common goal and common purpose. 
okay? And uh, I'm gonna end it off like this. Today, when I was walking, I went this I went this morning. I made a call to Kenny, you know, uh, and congratulated him for, you know, a lot of the work that he's doing behind the scenes, along with everybody else that's that, that's a leader. Because a lot of people don't see a lot of the sleepless nights that we have, making sure that all this is running properly and making sure that everybody uh, is gonna be, you know, uh, paid accordingly, right? Because we want you to make money, you know. That's the that's the, that's the truth here. We want you to get paid. Um, and today when I was walking in the park, uh, I literally, I, I stopped, I saw somebody walking, I had my dog, so I told my dog to come, my, my dog's name is Crypto, okay, so that's my dog's name, Crypto, for a good reason, you know, when I named him back in the day, and uh, I told Crypto to come over, I, I, got, I got him to stop, and I was holding him by his collar, because I don't use a leash, and um, a young individual actually walks past me, he stops, and he says, hey, you keep your business options open. <laughs> and at that moment, the only thing I could do is just smile, you know, and I had my mask on, you know, and in my mind, I said, if you only knew, you know, how many years we put in into this, into this industry of being open-minded enough to actually ask somebody, hey, do you keep your business options open? You know, so it was funny because at that moment I said, it's funny that you asked that because I do the same thing, you know? And, and at that moment, the only thing you need to do is strike up a conversation. And there goes the conversation. The, the moment where you get to actually, you know, start conversating with another person to actually understand who they are, where they came from, what they're doing, what is their current endeavor, you know, what is their goals, and you actually get to meet somebody. Now, of course, in his case, he seemed fairly new because it seemed very scripted, you know? And one thing that I want you to understand is that we are not in a scripted uh, field anymore. You know, you have to remember that when you're out here in the world, you're conversating with people, you're conversing, you're getting to know a person, you're building rapport, you're building a relationship with this other individual, this other stranger, you know? In the moment of building this relationship, you will eventually encounter, you know, similarities. And in the similarities, this is where you're going to be able to go ahead and strike, you know, uh, uh, potential uh, uh, interest speakers, you know, and, and that's how everything starts. A lot of my friends that I've made, I've made because of the simple question, are you open to making additional streams of income, you know, and then since then, we've been friends ever since. A good example is Lloyd, you know, Lloyd Gohard Jackson. Uh, was actually one of my neighbors at one point in time. And sure enough, he was walking through the apartment complex that Kenny and I used to live at. I don't know if a lot of y'all knew, but Kenny and I used to be neighbors as well. And uh, and I struck I struck that conversation with uh with Lloyd. And since then he's been one of my one of one of one of my friends for the longest amount of time. It's been over seven years. Okay. But the main goal of basically what I'm saying is that you never know who you're gonna meet. You never know whose life you're gonna change. OK, and it all starts with one, having the vision Two, with understanding that you're part of one platform and one platform only Gobi Trade House or the women of Gobi. OK, that we are a financial fraternity that practices group economics. You got to understand that what you're doing is that we are embarking on a journey where we're all going to succeed together. You will be on a boat with each and every one that's on right now. You will be traveling the world with everybody that you see right now as the participants. So I see on the participants, we have a, to a total of 106 representatives, partners right now in, in, uh, in Gobi Trade House. That's extremely powerful because we have to remember where we came from. Kenny and I, whenever we started Coffee with Gobi, you know, it, was, it, it came from an idea of, of, uh, of this other real estate company that uh that was doing something similar and not as and they have not gotten as big as Gobi has okay but it originally started from that thought and we said hey this would be this would be a great idea just so we could go ahead and and be able to talk to to uh everybody within our organization and now it's developed to be you know something bigger than we could ever imagine it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger you know and, uh, and one thing that I want to remind everybody is that when we're on these calls, you have to keep it, uh, you know, parental advisory, okay? You have to remember sometimes we have very important, we have maybe preachers, pastors, doctors, teachers, maybe we have kids in the background. We have to make sure that we don't curse. We have to make sure that we're not out here, you know, being verbally explicit. One, 
because that's not necessarily really too good for your spirit. That's not too good for your future to be cussing up a storm. I get it. Maybe sometimes we may get, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one base where maybe we can go ahead and, and, you know, drop some couple bombs for a quick second, but that's, that's on an individual basis. When it comes to the overall, we have to keep it PG-13 <laughs> or PG, okay? Let's keep it PG because, you know, like I said, a lot of people, you know, they they, you, I'm, they, they already come from a toxic environment. We cannot bring them here and, and give them F-bombs and S-bombs and, you know, all these bombs, right? Like, let's, let's keep it, let's keep it, let's, let's bring it down a little bit, you know, because we don't want to, we don't want, you know, we want to keep a healthy culture, okay? Uh, another thing about the pyramid stuff, everything in life is a pyramid, whether you like it or not. It, the pyramid is actually one of the best foundations ever, ever. You know, you can't run away from the fact that the church is a pyramid, the medical system is a pyramid, okay? You know, you're, you're, the, the, uh, did I say the educational system? You know, for, for example, the, 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 in, in the medical field, you have the board of directors, they're the top. Then is the doctors, then is the nurses, then is the medical assistants, then is the people that kill, clean the bathrooms. The same thing goes for your church. You have the pastor. Okay, you have your deacons, you have the congregation, and then you have the people that still clean the bathrooms, right? You know, the same goes for the educational system, the board of directors, okay, the principal, the teachers, the people that clean the bathrooms, you know? So in, in reality, what's taking place is that you are starting off as your own CEO right off the bat. You know, whether you like it or not, you know, you can literally say you are the top of your own pyramid, you know? At the end of the night, you are. You are the top. You are the CEO. You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, it's one of those pyramid things, you know, but the truth of the matter is that if this is not since we are in a unit level. When Kenny says that we are in a unit level, we don't have all these legs and we don't have a pyramid structure. True. But at the same time, you are starting off as your own CEO. You are starting off at the top of your own foundation where you could generate thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars from the growth of your own entity, you know? So just understand that, you know, don't, don't be so quick to say, oh, pyramid. Pyramid is actually beautiful. That's the reason the pyramids are still standing up over there in, in Egypt. <laughs> you know, they're still up, you know, like, let's face it, all right? So the, the, a pyramid is beautiful, you know? Don't, don't sit here and, 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 and let anybody tell you otherwise. Our foundation in this world is built on pyramids. You can't run from it, you know? This is, it's not a square and it's not a circle. I mean, <laughs> the, 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 the CEO, CFO, VP, everything breaks down into that. But the real question is, is if you are in a traditional job, how long is it gonna take for you to become a CEO? If ever, you know? It's like 1% of a million or something that actually make it or thousands, you know, that actually make it to be, become part of the board of directors or part of the CEOs or so on and so forth. You know, right now you're just starting off right off the bat. You're starting off at the top, you're working your foundation and you're making a foundation that's built on bricks and not on sand. And the reason that you're doing this is because you're involved with a foundation that's built on bricks and not on sand, okay? so. I got to give it up to everybody, our sniper analyzers, all right? I got to give it up to y'all because the way that y'all are sniping these entries and making sure that everything is going down correctly is, is no, no, it's not less than a manifestation than anything else. It's a manifestation of greatness, okay? It's a manifestation of understanding that these guys are working together to, to literally, you know, communicate with each other to make sure that everybody gets in at the right proper entry point, you know, especially when it comes down to running the bag, you know, and actually making it happen. So I got to give it up to our sniper analyzers. Congratulations to y'all. And, uh, and we honor everything that y'all do. So when it comes to Adam, Ahmad, you know, Rodney, along with Kenny, okay, uh, 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 JP, you know, and everything that y'all are doing, you have to remember that you're affecting people's lives in the dynamic where they're making more money because you are finding the right sniper entry points is the reason why you are the sniper analyzers, along with the fact that we have the snap for the sniper analyzer, you know, so with that being said, don't do not lose sight of your focus do, do not lose sight of your vision broke with something of the past.
okay? And if you're currently in a turbulence, if you're currently in a moment where it may seem rocky, it's only temporary. It's only a temporary de deficiency. It's not forever. It's just momentarily. You know, they, they usually say this, all right? You're here. Success to become a millionaire or a six-figure earner is actually right here. And failure, failure, that thing that you're so afraid of, you're so scared of failure, is actually way down here. You have a higher probability to becoming successful quicker than you will ever fail. And that's because of the circumference and the circle that you have with your, your, your partners here at Gobi Trade House. And I just want to remind y'all that we're all here with the same common goal and common purpose for time freedom, not just financial freedom. Money comes and goes. We get money, we put it back out there, it can disappear. But time is the most precious thing that you have in this world. You will not get a minute back. With the minute that we spent these last, these last few minutes, 45 minutes, we won't get any of that time back. That's why time is the most precious thing we have while we're here on earth. You know, so with that being said, you know, keep going. Do not give up. Do not stop. Do not give up on yourself. Okay. Because when you give up on yourself, you're giving up on thousands upon thousands of other people out there in the world, nations upon nations that do not know that they can make money just by going through a, a, uh, a live session. You know, they could make money just by plugging in an Autobot, you know. So just like the, the Autobots say, Autobots assemble. <laughs> you know, with, with that being said, man, <laughs> with that being said, God bless each and every one of y'all. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get going. I got to go ahead and complete some stuff with Kenny in a bit. So I'm actually headed to Kenny's right now. Uh, God bless each and every one of y'all. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that was a quote, but we'll go ahead and take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, Carlos. Dropping a lot of nuggets, a lot of positive information this morning, motivation, strategy, everything, what this call is about. Carlos, thank you so much for all of those diamonds and those nuggets this morning uh, that you just delivered to the group. And I couldn't agree with you more about just uh, let's try to keep as, as best as we can, because we're, none of us are perfect. All of us slip up sometimes. All right, but at best as we can, let's try our best to keep a professional environment as best as we can as we grow this thing, um, because we are the foundation. But as new people come in, uh, we want to make sure that, you know, on day number one, you know, they're not hearing some crazy stuff on copy. Now, we're, we, we're, we're good. We know each other, right? But the, <laughs> on day number one, you know, we don't want people to come in and see stuff like that. So let's try our best to uh, uh, try our best. To be as professional as we can. Again, I understand we're not perfect, but we want to build this foundation uh, because I see Gobi Trade House having thousands and thousands and thousands uh, inside of our of our organization. All right, and everybody here right now is a foundation of leadership. We're going to be the beneficiaries of the overall growth of this company. So let's go ahead and continue to build the best culture that we can. And we have an amazing culture right now, but I believe that it could actually get even better. Okay. Also, guys, uh, we're also going to be transitioning. I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, tomorrow, but maybe latest on Thursday, out of all of the chats that everybody's in. So we're going to consolidate everybody to the paid members chat on the band. Okay, the paid members chat on the band. Uh, I believe that Mike Taylor has some people in a paid members chat on Facebook Messenger. That's fine. But the paid members chat on the band, that's where we're going to be. That's where you're going to get all of our attention. That's where we're going to be communicating with everybody. That's where we're going to be posting the updates. Also, all the other paid member groups, we still have people who are inactive in the groups. We want to give you guys a chance to get active. So there's a couple more days left. Then we're going to close down all of these groups. And all of our signals are going to go through our paid member signals chat. Our announcements are going to go through our paid member announcements chat our paid members band app and our paid members Facebook group page that we're building and adding content to. And the other old band with a thousand people in there and the other old Facebook with 1.3K people in there are gonna turn into informational fan and promotional pages for Gobi where we're gonna allow the public to get in those pages, okay? So, but the paid members groups will be consolidated 
for the attention of the active members. That's the only way we could keep track of it. Also, this particular call, Coffee with Gobi, all of our live sessions, okay, and our training sessions are going to be in the members area in the back office. So that's something that's going to happen in the next couple of days as well, especially all next week. Okay, we may actually finish off the remaining of the week on Gobi Zoom, but this is something I want everybody to be mentally prepared for to start logging in their members area and then clicking on the Zoom to actually attend a live session and to attend Coffee with Gobi and all of the services that we provide. So this is going to be a paid members thing. It's going to be consolidated, but we just want everybody who's out there lingering and haven't got a subscription yet. We got so much value and content we're about to add. We have so many more things we're about to add back there with our Gobi Academy, our sniper analyzer and indicator and training. Okay. Um, so many other things in regards to marketing that Mike Taylor is going to put back there to help you guys grow the business. We're going to put some Autobot strategies back there, all types of stuff, all types of stuff, guys. All right. And it's going to be in the paid members area. So if you're not in that area, you're going to miss out on all this stuff. And I don't want you to miss out. So in these next couple of days, guys, all these groups are going to shut down and it's going to be very organized in about four chats. And that's it. So everybody start preparing your people and your groups. There will be no more groups where everybody's in it. There's going to be one group where everybody's in it and communicating. And that is the Facebook a paid group page and the, and the paid members ban app. Other than that, if you have your personal chats with your personal team, that, that's what you want to do. Your personal chat with your personal downline, okay? You can you communicate with them and keep that well organized so you can communicate with your personal group. But only one group with everybody in it, that will be the paid members band app. So everybody start preparing people. It's going to be very well organized and it's going to be a transition. So let people know that door is, is starting to close and we need people to get inside these paid members groups. So let me go ahead and pass it to our brother, uh, Joe, Joe Threats. Joe, how you feeling this morning, brother? I'm doing well. How about you? Ah, feeling great. The Bostello is kicking in. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I'm passing it to you. <laughs> well, well, good, good, good. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about, uh, well, piggyback a little bit on what Kenny, uh, Kenny and Carlos was talking about our business. We are all business partners, right? Um, but we also our own CEO, we are our own entrepreneur. So, you know, this time of the year, everybody has a, a um, what we call like a New Year's resolution. But in this case, uh, I want to talk about your, your New Year's resolution with, with your business, your what's in your business diet, basically. And in your business diet, sometimes you have to take out uh, things, you have to put in things. So in order for us to actually get to the success that we want to get to in your business or in your health. So that's, I'm going to talk about what's in your business diet. Uh, so number one, procrastination, something in our, in our diet that we have to take out. Reason being is because procrastination is the assassination of your destination. So basically that just means that if you procrastinate all the time, you further, further away, from uh, actually giving yourself the um, benefit of reaching success. So you have to actually make sure you know that you're not procrastinating anymore. Um, so don't be afraid to step out on the ledge and jump because you know for a fact that if you put in the work, you're gonna actually get to, this, to your goal. It, that parachute is gonna fly open. So, um, so procrastination, like I said, I'll repeat it one more time. Uh, the procrastination is the assassination of your destination. That's the, that's the first thing we need to take out of our diet in order to be a healthy, uh, to move on with a healthy business. All right, um, bad association. I'm pretty sure you heard before, if you have nine broke friends, guess what, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be that, that 10th person that's gonna be broke. Um, and in 20, what, 2021, we could have called it the broker virus. Um, so if you're hanging around people that's broke, Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be that 10 broke person. And so you have to um, create your circle, your team around people that, that's like-minded, that's gonna be, um, you know, thinking the same way you think. If you're, the, if you're the smartest person in the room, it's time to go get into another room. If you're the smartest person in your group, go hang with someone else because you, how are you gonna be able to get sharpened? How are you gonna sharpen your iron basically 
if you're the one that's that's doing all the porn. So it's not saying that you got to leave those friends alone, but you do need to be able to make sure you educate yourself. And as well as that, um, you want to make sure that that you can get people to educate you and so you can grow. So iron sharper iron. So bad association, that's another thing that we need to take out of our diet, um, of, out of our business diet. Um, so another thing, fear. Um, fear is basically false evidence appearing real. Um, and with that being said, sometimes if you, if you see somebody, you know, walking um, at the store, like Carlos had mentioned earlier, that kid just pretty much spoke to him because he was trying to take out that fear right there. Um, but it's okay to speak to someone, tell someone about your business because you're in business for yourself. So take out the fear of, of picking up the phone and talking to someone. Take out that fear of speaking on a coffee with Gobi Call. I can tell you personally that two, three months ago, I wasn't even thinking about uh, speaking in front of a hundred, 100 people on a Zoom call. That wasn't even my DNA, I felt like. But um, I've taken out that fear because I know that in my business diet, <clears throat> excuse me, in my business diet, I have some places that I'm trying to get to and I'm going to get there. So I have to make sure I take out the um, any type of fear that's going on. Um, so pick up that phone, share your business with someone else. Um, that's the only way you're going to be able to grow. So take out your... Uh, your business, so take out your uh, the fear out of your business diet. Um, a couple of weeks ago, probably like mid-December, I talked about vision and sight. So I wanna do a little quick summary real quick. I want everybody to actually, um, in the chat, I want you to write your, uh, how much money is your in your bank account and then also what kind of car you drive. So let's, let me see, I wanna see what kind of car y'all drive. We're gonna get a little bit personal because we family. So let's see what we have, um, what we're driving here. All right, I see a Ford Focus. How much you got in your account, Lorraine? All right. Okay, okay, I see some people getting it. <clears throat> All right, cool, cool, cool. So the next thing we need to put in our in our um, in our business is actually vision. So a lot of people sometimes they uh, they have sight, right? So sight just means that they can see their. I'm gonna put it in this terms right here. In your trading account right now, you start off with a hundred bucks. That's your sight. You see a hundred bucks. You see a hundred and eight after today. If you uh, got in on the trade last night, so right now your sight is a hundred and dollar, a hundred and eight dollars but your vision is going to be 9,500 because that's going to be the end goal. That's the foreseeable future. That's is what, that's, that's vision. That's the difference between sight and vision. Sight is that, 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 that moment right now where we can see the, the hundred dollars. We can see the, the Yukon Denali that's, that you have right now, but that vision might be that Lamborghini Urus, that, that vision might be instead of, um, hundred dollars in your in your checking account it can be a hundred million dollars in your in your bank account so that's the difference between sight and vision so you want to make sure you do have sight because that's your foundation but you also want to make sure you actually have vision to where you're not just thinking about what's going on right now you have vision in the foreseeable future to say i'm speaking this into existence i'm saying i have a hundred million dollars in my bank account or whatever your number is or whatever kind of car you want to drive you want to make sure you have sight and vision into your business. So add those type of things. You want to add vision into your business diet. Okay. Um, so I see a lot of people posting, um, you know, what kind of car they have now and what, and so what I want to say with that is, so speak whatever car you have that you want into existence, so write it out, write it out. So you can kind of get a visual. It's, it's going to be in your head. I talked about this a couple of months or weeks ago as well about the things that you envision, you can speak them out and it's gonna to come to pass. Um, so make sure you add vision into your business diet. Another thing, time management. Um, as, a, as a CEO, as an as a entrepreneur, your time is very, very valuable, but you cannot um, be valuable if you don't show value to yourself. Um, meaning that everybody's urgency isn't your emergency. So, or everybody emergency, I'm sorry. 
uh, isn't your urgency. So that means, yes, you might have to go take care of something or, or help your mama do something real quick. But at the same time, if you're focused on a, on a certain thing right now that you're working on and it's not an emergency from someone else, uh, focus on the task at hand. Uh, you, can't, you can't spread yourself thin because then you're pretty much going to be all over the place, basically. It's literally just like that. So you want to make sure you your time management skills, you want to add that into your business to where uh, you stick into your plan. If you either have a, a 10 a.m. call, if you have something to do before that, get it done. Write, write out your day. You should almost have everything that you need in your day um, line, uh, aligned, basically. So if you're waking up at 5 a.m., you have your meditation with your personal development, you get that done. Next, if you have a situation where you're going to exercise, get that done. After that, if that means you come home because you're an entrepreneur now, you don't have to go to work. The next thing is if, okay, I'm going to set my day to where I, st I have my business uh, started. Um, so just make sure you have your, your plan, your time management uh, skills in order because you want people to respect your time, but you have to respect your own time as well. Uh, that's that. So add value to yourself add, so you can be valuable. Make sure you, you respect your time so other people can respect your time as well. And remember, like I said, everyone's emergency isn't your urgency. And if we actually put all these things in our diet and take out the bad, the procrastination, the fear, um, and, and all those type of things, you'll, you'll be successful in, in creating a, a healthy business diet for yourself moving forward in the next three months. So if we practice these skills, if we, if we stay consistent with these uh, skills, you'll be successful. So um, like I can say, I see everybody posted their cards. My goal for this, the purpose is for you to, to actually get a visual of what you want um, and write it down. Keep your chats, keep your, keep your, um, your goals in sight, in front of you. Um, people always talk about having a, a vision board. Um, something I'm gonna do actually is gonna be a vision post because I'm gonna make it public because I wanna put I wouldn't call it pressure, but it's going to be a way for me to um, keep looking at it, keep looking at it. Cause I'm always on Instagram. So if I post the Instagram post of all my, my goals that I have in, in mind, uh, it's going to come to pass because I'm going to keep seeing it over and over again. So that's all I wanted to talk about basically is what's in your business diet, the things that we need to take out of our diet and the things that we need to put into our diet. So it's for, for us to actually be able to um, be successful. So that's all I had, everyone. Um, I hope everybody go be great and uh, have a healthy diet. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Powerful, powerful nuggets uh, from Joe. Uh, well prepared. Very, man, that was, that was great. That was great, guys. I hope you guys got something from that because he is speaking the truth and he's giving you a blueprint of how to become successful. All the things he's talking about, vision boards, time management, being organized. I actually want to add something to that. And then I'm gonna pass it to Mike Taylor for a few words to close us out. You also want, it, all that stuff is great, okay? But if you do not have, if you're not emotionally attached to these, to your goals and also to your vision, then it's not gonna manifest. You have to have a huge why to anchor you because you're gonna have ups and downs while you're going on your path. And if you don't have a huge why, and I always say, if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. Why are you doing this business? Everybody on this call right now, okay? I want you to post your why in the chat right now. Why are you doing this business? Is it your kids? Is it your parents, okay? That you wanna, you wanna, you know, for me personally, my parents have been working hard for many, many years, all right? And I wanna, I wanna have my parents enjoy the rest of their life. I want them to go see the world, okay? I wanna, I got two children. Okay, I want to do it. I want to do a lot for my children. I want to uh, build a legacy for my children. Okay, we have people saying they want to retire their mother. Okay, it's all about your family. You got to restore communities, a lot of community work, right? Do you want to give more to your church or your, your spiritual base? Okay, what is it? And why are you doing this business? Everybody has a different reason why you are doing this. Okay, father, better home. Okay, you want to pay off debt. You want to get rid of that financial slavery that's hovering over your head and has been hovering over for the rest of the life. How would it feel to be debt free? 
and not owe anybody? How would it feel to have flawless credit? Okay, how would it feel to own your car, own your home? Okay, why are you doing this business? And if you have a huge why, and you have, as Joe said, organized with your vision board, engraved detail, I want this car, I want this home, I want to live this lifestyle, all right? And have a time frame on how you wanna get there, but also have it detailed of the steps you're gonna do to get there, okay? And then you do the last part is manifestation. And manifestation is just another word for work, okay? <laughs> manifestation is work. It's not just sitting back and just hoping for, you know, uh, something to plop on your table. You actually gotta manifest it. So if you have all these things in order and you work, there's nothing that can hold you back from being successful. And that's what this is all about, guys. Everybody has a huge why. And that if you're emotionally attached to that why and everything that Joe spoke about, nothing's going to hold anybody back from manifesting their dreams and their goals in this business. All right. And in, and in this life. All right. Let me go to pass it to Mike Taylor for some uh, to close us out. And uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and, and move on with our day. Mike Taylor, are you still on, brother? Mike Taylor, are you still on? Are you still on? Uh, yep, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Hold on. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, um, hey, this has been a great call, man. A lot of nuggets have uh, been dropped, man. Shout out to Carlos, Joe, Kenny. Uh, so I don't want to make this too long. I just want to... Uh, I want to make this brief. I want to actually celebrate a few individuals. I was looking in the back office, and uh, we don't have ranks in this business, so we're out of that game. However, when you do reach certain thresholds, you do get a, a, a what's the word for it? You get a upage in your profit share with the company. So let's get some money bags for three gentlemen uh, that has got more than 10 customers, and now they got an increase in their percentage. Let's get some money bags for Rodney Pullins. Let's get some uh, money bags for Mr. Joe Threats. And I got to get this one gentleman name right. Hold on. And Damian Henson. Never met that brother, but congratulations, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that lets you know, just in a few days, in 72 hours, basically, we open on Friday. What's today, Tuesday? We open Friday evening, 72 hours. These gentlemen have already created a pretty decent residual income and getting overrides on all their referrals. So uh, that's a beautiful thing. With that being said, I'm just going to say this, and uh, we'll close it out. Uh, 5.30 uh, Central Time, I am going to do a team building, self -building. You want to be there, especially if you're trying to build your residual income. And uh, Carlos, are you still going to do the power hour tonight at 8 p.m.? Yeah, I'm going to do the power hour, you know. So the uh, the presentation isn't fully complete just yet, but that doesn't even matter, man. We'll go ahead and iron out all the stuff. No more excuses and money, you know, by making sure that we get everybody uh, implemented on the power hour at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right. So I'm there tonight. All right, cool. Hey, answer your phone too, cause I need to call you after this call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, bro. All right. But yeah, so uh, with that being said, um, hey, you guys at 5.30, uh, after that, we'll transition to power hour tonight. We got the uh, 11 p.m. trade session. We got the 2 a.m. London session. We got the 6.40 in the morning gold rush. We got coffee with Gobi back in the morning. So we got a full schedule. Go be great. And I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all on the call later on. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Bye, family. All right, awesome. all right. Awesome call. Absolutely. Definitely an awesome call, everybody. I hope everybody. Bye, bye. Yeah, have a good rest of your morning. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Everybody have a great day. We're going to go ahead and close it out. And we're going to have some more announcements. I think that for those who are still on, um, I think we might be moving the um, – uh, let, let me see in the chat real quick, just so the people who are still on right now. Because we have a 2 a.m. London session, and the 2 a.m. London session is great. I don't know if you guys have attended it yet, but uh, uh, Jordan, Rod Rodney, and Adam do an amazing job on London, and they're they're moving fast and they're shooting out signals like crazy. I mean, I was on it last night, like wow, it was really great session. So I want to make sure that people have a little bit of rest in between the 11 to people who want to attend the 2 a.m. If you if you think that uh, you could you could uh, attend. 
uh, instead of the 11 p.m. session, if we move that to around nine o'clock to a late Asian session, give me a one 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 in the chat if that's a good time for most people. If we moved it and we have a little bit of time in between uh, until we go to 2 a.m. for the London session. One 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 in the chat for a 9 a.m. a 9 p.m. late Asian. And then we got the the London. All right, well, that's enough one one ones for me. So we're gonna go ahead, and <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and figure out how to move that on our calendar. And uh, we'll talk to everybody about that. We have a new calendar being released. Uh, I just wanna make sure that the schedule is a little balanced because we have a lot of stuff going on. I don't want people to get off at 12 o'clock and then you know go rest for a second at two o'clock, get right back on. Cause I know you guys wanna attend um, as many of these as possible because there are money making opportunities, okay? So we'll go ahead and make those adjustments for everybody on the calendar. Other than that, guys, thank you for your participation. Go be great. Hope everybody has a blessed day. Peace. Appreciate y'all. Go be great. Have a good day.